Hi guys, it's Lucy. Hope you're having a great day today. And so, sometimes taking care of your doll's hair can be tricky. So this is my tips and tricks on how I take care of my American Girl doll with really curly hair and just somewhat curly hair. This is curly hair and this is like intense curls and this is more textured. So I'm gonna be showing you my tips and tricks on how I take care of dolls with, the, with this kind of hair. So I'm going to start with my Annabeth first. Here, Annabeth has very intense curls. So I'm just gonna take this clip out of her hair. Her hair does look pretty right now, but it is a little bit of a mess. So I'm going to show you what you'll need like accessories wise. First, you're gonna need a brush. It does not have to be from American Girl, but it does have to be a wire wigged brush. Next, you're going to need a some sort of water. This is just a water sprayer for American Girl, but you can use anything. It just has to be water, nothing else. And lastly, this is totally optional. If your doll is wearing earrings, I recommend taking them off when you brush her hair and placing them in the American Girl tree holder just so you don't lose them. Okay, so let's start. So, what I like to do first Okay, so the first thing I like to do is I usually do her hair in parts. Like, not like already, like, not going in and brushing it all at once. So, her hair is already in parts, so I have to take one piece of hair, placing your hands behind so, you're, so your doll does not get wet. If you want, you can put something around their body, but I'm careful enough that I won't get their body wet, so it's okay. just missed it lightly then I like to unravel the curl because I just think unraveling you don't have to unravel the curl but I just think it's very helpful because to go in straight I mean it doesn't, even if you unravel it kind of springs back because so that, that's not really necessary kind of undo the curl a little bit so it's not like it's perfect so I can brush it out she's not very steady right now so I recommend either putting her in between your legs or in a salon chair because this is not very sturdy Okay, so once you have it all brushed out like this, you're gonna see which way the curl is going. And I just like to twirl it with my finger. And then once you let go, there is a beautiful curl and you can keep doing it until you get the exact kind of curl that you like. Or another method is once you've done brushing, you can take your, t your brush and twirl it with your brush and as you go down, as you brush down. And then you get a curl like that. So either way, it's really up to you. And I'm going to show you one more curl on her. This, this is one of her back curls. The process for doing her whole hair does take a little bit, but it's very worth it because this hair is um, really 
needs more um, care. And so it's really worth it once you've all finished. So I'm just gonna show you one more curl. Sometimes these curls aren't perfectly like all in one bunch. So I just take a piece. And if, even if it's a really small piece, that's okay because you wanna take each individual piece. And if you are in a rush, you can take more pieces. But um, taking, taking just one like small piece makes it look even prettier if you have a bunch of time to do it. So I'm gonna repeat that same method. Okay, so then we're gonna to wanna to repeat by brushing your hair at the bottom. Boy, does that look messy. So, and then I'm just gonna to want to finger curl it or brush it with your brush. Yeah, it looks so pretty. So, one more time, I'm not gonna talk, I'm just gonna let, let you see. I'm just spraying it one more time because I didn't think it was wet enough. We don't want to get it too wet. So... Um, at the end, these curls that are right here, not these back ones, so don't count these, but all the ones there in the front I just did. And look how pretty they look compared to the, I mean the back, yes, these still look divine, but they are a little bit messy. So you can always just leave them, and then I just kind of like tuck them in the back. And then she's already looking super pretty. And this curl is kind of sticking out, so I'm just going to tuck it in. She's already looking gorgeous, and so this is how I curl my doll, Truly Me number 44, Annabeth. And you can use this technique for any doll with this curly hair. And I just think this curl looks really nice right now. Even though it's not the curl I did, it just looks really nice. So. My next doll. Her hair does look pretty nice right now, but I'm just going to show you. Anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna show you with this curl right here. So my technique for her hair is pretty similar to Annabeth's hair, but for Rebecca's, I do a little bit different. Not really, but you know. So what I do is I just kind of I always I always spritz their hair first, just because I think it needs to be wet before I do anything else. And then I brush it. But then my technique for curling it afterwards, once you have it all brushed out, is to not like twist it with your finger, but actually like sit here and just twist it with both my hands, like this. And then sometimes, um, sometimes it looks nice if once I once I twirl it, I hold it with my hands. And then I spritz it once more. Try not to get her face in this process. Once you let go, it leaves a springy, bouncy curl. And so it's not really the way I want it, but there. That's the way I want it. So I just kind of mess around with it until I get the way I want it. But look how pretty and bouncy that curl looks. And then I've already done this for her whole, whole, her 
whole hair um, the other day. So this is what it looks like when it's done, actually. And so, okay, so I really hope those tips and tricks of mine helped you. Um, I know it gets difficult when trying to curl your doll's hair. I know it especially is, is especially hard for me with girls with like really curly hair like Annabeth. But once you know how to do it, it's not that hard. And they just need like, I, would, I wouldn't recommend brushing her hair a lot or any, um, or any curly hair dolls a lot because the curls like can wear away. So only if it's like really messy or I would just do it about once a month and that would usually be okay just to keep it keep it nice okay so again hope these tips helped you i hope you have an awesome day and really hope you like this video bye see you in my next video